Hello and welcome to part 13 on how to create your own Android launcher. So last time we got it so that you can uh, select from a shortcuts menu and you can click on the shortcut you wanted and it would move onto the home screen after it is set up. So today we're going to work on getting uh, themes, icon themes working. Um, but first, before we do that, I do want to change a little bit of structure of the program. So first of all, in the beginning, we started uh, with the class pack, which was nested inside of the main activity class. But instead of nesting it, uh, to make this less interdependent I'm going to create a separate class called pack instead so say new class call it pack and then from the from inside main activity we can just cut that content inside of the pack class nested inside, nested inside of main activity and paste it right inside of the uh, separate pack class and then we can just get rid of the pack class inside of main activity and save all to make sure there's no errors and of course there are a bunch of errors because we were using the class pack from main activity instead of this class so we've got to remove the main activity before pack so just make it into the pack class that we just created reference to that instead so just go through all the classes with the error and fix them Now after you've changed all that, save everything, make sure you're not missing anything. And as you can tell, nothing is missing. And so next we are going to create the menu um, inside of the pop-up dialog. We're going to add an item to this pop-up dialog ju that just says select theme. So now go into the res values folder, go into strings and we can add a new string to add to the dialog and we can just call it something like theme and uh, you can say whatever you want select theme or just icon theme and then next just going to save this so we can use it um, now inside of main activity we created the long click listener and the alert dialog already in the previous videos so what we're going to do is add to the items so I'm just going to copy that and since we're gonna have three items I'm just going to move that down and then add an extra item and the string will be theme. So now that will show the theme inside of the pop-up. And then inside of the on click, we can add another case. So I'm just going to copy the case one, paste it, and rename it to case two. Then instead of select shortcut, we will make a select theme method. And then we will call that method from inside of case two. So now we're going to go back and finish the select theme method. This is going to be very similar to the select shortcut method because we are going to basically be doing the same thing as in creating a pick activity and adding a filter. 
So let's create the pick activity. Same way we did the select shortcut. I just copied and pasted that. And then we are also going to be starter starting that activity later on. So I'm going to copy the start activity for result. And then we're let's change the ID. Um, let's create a new ID inside of res values IDs.xml. So I'm going to copy and paste the last one. Instead of pick shortcut, I'm going to change it to pick theme. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Then go back into main activity and change it from request pick shortcut to request pick theme. So next we're going to be creating the filter. So we can make a new intent intent filter equals new intent with the action of intent dot action underscore main next we are going to be adding a category to that filter so filter dot add category and the category is com dot and does dot launcher dot theme and make sure theme is capital letters so what this is it's um and does is the creator of apex launcher and basically almost all themes uh, icon themes use this because most icon themes support apex launcher it's um pretty standard by now so by doing this you basically get about 90% of icon pack support of course this won't work on things like go launcher themes so after you add the category we need to add that into the pick intent so intent which is our pick intent dot put extra and the string name will be intent dot extra underscore intent and the value will be filter so that's going to start the picker activity which will bring up all the icon themes so I'm going to go ahead and run this and show you how it should look. So when you long press on the home screen you're going to get this and you'll see the new item added icon theme and whenever you press that it will pop up the choose activity dialog but whenever you select it it's not going to do anything yet because we need to add code inside of the on activity result so inside of on activity result let's do another else if and the else if will be r dot id dot request pick theme alright so now that we got the um, else if statement for request pick theme we want to get what was picked um, we want to find out what package name uh, the user selected so what package name of the app the user selected so first of all I want to create a shared preferences that way we can save what the user chooses to pick as the theme so what I'm going to do is go up to the top of the main activity and do shared preferences and if you don't know what shared preferences are um, they're basically uh, it uses XML to save things but it's very very basic it allows uh, the programmer to do it in a very quick way so 
um, we can call it global prefs and it's just good for saving small amounts of data like uh, preferences as it's sounded so and on create let's um, create the preferences and how you do that you do global global preferences equals um, well we can do preference manager dot get default shared preferences and with the context of this all right so now we have a global preferences variable that we can now use to save the theme what theme it, it what theme was selected so in the request code of pick theme we do we can do global prefs dot edit dot put string so global pref dot edit creates a um, edit editor um, it returns a an editor it's called like a preference editor so and then in the editor you tell it to put string with the key and the value key is what you, you use so that you can retrieve it later on so the key we can put we can just call it theme and then for the value we're going to get the package name from what the user selected and to do that to do data because that that's what was um that's what's passed into on activity result the data and then we call dot get component dot get packaging and then make sure that you add a dot commit and this is what you call after you make changes in the preferences and now it will change the theme or it will save the package name into the theme key okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and mark this as part 13-1 so look in the prod in the uh, video description for part 13-2 thanks for watching this part and I will be right back for part 13-2